this this video is just going to be um, probably me just welding these tanks up. I got some extra bits to go on these tanks, and I did need a bead roller because this bit of pipe in here hasn't got a bead on it. And I was looking looking around for a bead roller, and they're like stupid money for just like three or four rolls that I need to do. And I thought, oh, well, I'm not forking out the uh, three hundred quid for a bead roller to be roll this size pipe so I thought I'll um I had a little think and I built my own little B roller well if you can call it that so uh this is this is my little B roller so uh basically it's two bits of I stainless that I got and I cut a, a positive and a, a negative and um it comes out quite well and I've managed to B roll my own which uh I was quite cheesed, uh, cheesed. <laughs> quite pleased with that. Uh, simple to make. So if you guys need a bead roller, I suggest you just make one out of a bit of metal. Really, it's not quite hard. No, hard, no hard at all. So um, I'll put you guys on my head and I'll show you how it works. Straightforward, and you can clamp it to as tight as you want. So you can go around in uh, one tightness and then tighten them up. So if we say we want our bead by there, crimp him, move him around a bit, crimp it, move around a bit, crimp it, move around a bit, and so on. Till, see that? It's starting to get a bead look. It's tidy, isn't it? That's how she works. So I gotta I gotta crimp this and that one and I'm pretty sure there's another one down there that I gotta crimp. So uh little tool there if you wanna make one of them. So uh just there we are. Right. Tanks, tanks, tanks. I got a load of these fittings. Now I did say to you guys that I was gonna put the stainless steel pipe from tank to tank. Well this bit is stainless steel obviously this is brass I'm gonna have four I got this is proper proper the biggest the biggest fuel line that they just sell see look fuel holes and that's inch so we got a little push on there with a jubilee clip and I'm gonna put a series of these up here to go back and forth the tanks so hopefully I won't have any problems with the two pipes joining together. Uh, I did the fuel line basically, uh, it was cheaper. <laughs> with Christmas is coming, I thought uh, um, i just try and save a little bit of money. And uh, to be fair, that, that intro's pipe is um, it's quite cheap actually. And um, it's quite sturdy as well, so I don't think it's going to bend or sag. And that's what I'm going to do. And in the, in the future, if it doesn't work out, then I'll probably take them out and I can put uh, stainless pipe in again. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to cut, drill these holes for uh, for these to fit in, weld them in, and that's about it. I think. Probably thinking, how's he going to get that hole in there with one of these? <laughs> One of these little drills. I tell you what, these are not cheap. These drill bits, and I didn't really want to pay the money that uh, they wanted for them. But I need it to get my four holes in there, so we got one. So what we're going to do is come out four inches off the end, one at the bottom, one at the top, and uh, equal distance between them all. So uh, that's our next our next project. Okay, so I've marked out one, two, three, four equal distances, and it is 68 millimeters between each one. That's the middle, anyway. Then I got a drill. Punch these. Do it. 
two, three. Let's do that again. Okay, and then we're gonna stick it drill it out. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, that's uh I got hot quick. I don't want to blunt on my brand new bit. It cost me a lot of money, right? I don't like stainless this bit. <sighs> this is going to take a while. We've got our uh, four holes drilled. I had to put them on uh, the drill post, pillar driller post first, and uh, turn the speed down because um, you just weren't doing it with the hand drill. And it took me uh, quite a while actually, it was quite fiddly. So um, anyway, they're done. And now I need to find out what angle, because they're not just going to be in there like that. They've got to be at a, at, a, at a funny angle to be level. So this is our level actually. So that's our... That's our they gotta be in there at that angle. So I gotta trim these threads off and then it should go in nice. Like what the angle that we want and then we can weld all the way around it. But, uh, all the threads ground off there now and it needs to be sat in there like so just like that so I'm gonna tack, tack that in there at that angle and then we got a, all the others to do so it's gonna take a while Got uh, two welded on there so far, and the, the heat. I tried to. I welded the first one, and I had the heat up too uh, too low. <laughs> uh, so I'm just tackling with uh, again the right temperature on it at the moment because I uh, I forgot to uh, tune it up when I had it down. So uh, a little bit of warping in there, but we'll uh, we'll get it out. I got a blowtorch. We can warm it up and straighten it out a bit, so I'm not to worry. So just two more to go. Three in 
now. So we've uh, I grounded the last one off. I'm just going to get the last one in there now. So I can't wait for this. Is the these are in because they're killing me. <laughs> Well, there we have it all four are in now pretty much in a row we just got to sort out this little bit of warp in here but that's uh, that's no big deal uh, we just put the, put the big torch on it and then uh, straight them out with a bit of wood and um, we just got to weld them all up now so uh, and then and then drill all the holes for the for the next one great <laughs> I've welded up this one side here now and I've ground it back because I want to see any low spots. There's a big low spot by there and there's a there's a couple one or two spots around and I uh I like to grind mine back and see fill up the low spots and have it all nice and tidy so uh when the finished product comes out it'll uh it'll look seamless and it'll look really nice. So um just lots of work on uh building that up now and making it look nice and functional and so it don't leak <laughs> well I got them all in all welded up it looks lovely apart from one thing I forgot to uh, <laughs> look at that chassis they all, it don't bloody fit so let me show you sure hit in the only good one is the bottom one so I'm going to have to cut them out all that hard work and I have to cut them all out and reposition them all well apart from the bottom one so you're just going to cut uh, cut these three out in a square plate and then I uh, should be able to weld them back in in a spot that they will go oh, never mind never mind more work, more bloody work. Cut them out. Not like something I wanted to do because uh, it can take me forever to do that. But the one, the one fits. So now we have to figure out where they're gonna go and miss all these bars. So uh, so my head in this is. So we've had a remodify it and uh we've only got three now so uh that's just the way it's gonna be so there we are well it fits in there now anyway so that's a that's a good thing fits in there nice nice and snug so there we are uh, pretty much done. I got uh, two tabs welded on it to, to keep it down. Those are in. That's welded up. The fuel bit goes in and out quite easy. All I got to do now is uh, get some pet oil and uh, put it in there and see if it leaks out. Hopefully not. But other than that, uh, she's done. So uh, I'll be in there like that. One tab's on there. The other one's down in here and that's it Whew, just got to do the other side now wow that was uh that sapped the life out of me that i've i i would have uh made a new tank but it's just taking me so, so long just to sort that out i just thought i'm gonna make another tank <laughs> so um it's not 100 percent how i wanted it but it's okay for for, for what it's going to be and we just got to weld up the other tank the other side and uh, job done so uh, thanks for watching leave a comment and um, we'll see you next time
Cheers, guys. <laughs>